welcome back once again to my channel if you would like to see how i detangled this tangled wig into this free and detangled wig watch from the beginning to the end of this video okay right here i'd like you to know that i'd already washed the wigs because there are about four of them but i'll be working with three in this video i'd wash them with a the shampoo and they're all new because i got them in nigeria when i traveled them i'd wash them in the shampoo and soak them in fabric softener which i was taught by a friend and it's been working for me for 25 minutes and also soak them in a regular conditioner for 25 minutes all i used cool water for them because that's best to use on wigs and then I dried them, allowed them to drain the water and placed them on my cotton material. I didn't let them dry completely anyways. So the first thing I'll be doing is to apply my leave-in conditioner. I'd prefer that it's a spray leave-in conditioner. It's a liquid one, but this is the one I had available. So it works for me too. So I'd rather use whatever is available for me. After that, I apply also olive leave-in conditioner that I have. I'll dry the names if you're interested by the side of the screen i'd like to give a disclaimer on this video i am not an expert with knowing materials of wigs but if you are able to recognize the materials of this wig please let me know in the comment section i'm very open to learning how to classify them according to their materials so um, the first thing I'll do here is to apply my leave-in conditioner like I said before and brush them out And I'll be doing this process for each of the weeks each of the three weeks. I'll be showing up on this video and then You just see how the results will come out in the end As you can see, I've been struggling with the tangling the wig, but we're going to get there. We are actually almost there. The wig is almost completely detangled right here. Yeah, sadly, I don't have a manicure, a head manicure to be able to play. Starting up with the second wig, we're going to repeat the same exact process. Actually, you can make your wigs without even a head manicure you can actually use your head or another person's head or you just hold it to your hand like i did i like using whatever i have and i'm content with it so right here you can see the closure is still intact showing that this wig is still a new wig so if you would like any one of them, just comment on the comment section or introduce me to anybody uh, to come and buy them at very affordable prices. Not at crayfish prices, be favore. <laughs> because many people, when they know you, they just want to overprice your stuff, guys. So they are anyways available and they are all intact for good prices. So if you like any one of them, just let me know and I'm going to give you at a good price, okay? Heading on to the third week, we're going to repeat the same process, leaving conditioners and brush out. This is the wig I'm thinking is about 100% natural hair. Mm -hmm. 
So after I'm done with this third week, on the fourth week, I realized that I can't do this on this video. It's going to take a longer time. So I'll be working on that on another video. Right here, after I'm done with applying leave-in conditioner and brushing out all the wigs, the next thing I do to set the wig is to apply my mousse and brush it out. And this will take a few seconds, less than one minute to, uh, to brush out and apply on each of the wigs. So that will be the end of our working on detangling of our wigs. And yes, each of these wigs had different materials on this video. So it's just showing you that this process is I'm using can be applied to any of the wigs, any material that you have on the wig, and you can see the results are obvious and lovely. We've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video at any point, please give me a thumbs up and thank you very much.